Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Well, we've got orders on all three platforms, so I think we're going to jump right into it this morning. Okay, yeah. Let's pull some uh, orders for things we sold. eBay, Mercari, Etsy. Correct. Okay. Yep. Let's go. Okay, we're going to start with eBay, flatware drawer, Bates List Finder. Yeah, pick this guy up. Yeah, tape stuck to the drawer. Pick this guy up for um, I think two fifty on a uh, half price day of an estate sale. Mm -hmm. And uh, awesome condition. Even had the original freaking pencil with the original factory point. Yeah. <laughs> and everything. That's right. like a fifty year old pencil point. I know. It's crazy. Huh? <laughs> Nineteen ninety nine for that. 10 Alpha, Mr. Christmas Mantle Clock. Oh, yeah. All right. 10 Alpha. 10 Alpha. Oh, I don't know why I'm going down here. Taking a stroll? I don't know what I'm doing. All right. 10 Alpha. This guy right here. We just listed... Just listed this clock. I don't know. Thursday, Friday? Thursday? Wednesday, Thursday? I think Wednesday. It sold for ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah, we picked that up at a garage sale, nah, estate sale, uh, for fifteen dollars. Yep. Um, we sold a GI Joe Blueprints. It's six B dash five. It's in the uh, the clear clearish plastic. Yeah, we had. At one point, we probably had what over twenty of these. Yeah. And they they really are fairly low low cost things which one is it um number five five it's a um, flamethrower yeah this is pack rat flamethrower it says here that's over 5.99 okay it's funny we hadn't told one of those in a long time and then you pulled that thing out the other day i know i did <laughs> I, I, I touched it <laughs> <laughs> okay in the D, D drawer another star trek deep space nine card Okay, yeah, and I put it back in the correct spot this time, yeah. I think. Yep, here they are, right now here. we have 42 more left to go. Yeah, and I have, uh, I do pull these out, put them in, one out, and we'll put it in a uh, penny sleeve top loader. Yep. They also bought a lot of nine Shakate Star Trek tattoos. Oh, that's... Small's drawer. Yeah, okay, I remember this. The small's drawer has a little room in it, it seems. Yeah. This whole little stack right here. I don't even know where the heck this came from. I don't either. Probably something a guy buy. It says Skybox on it. It might have been like in a pack of cards or something. Mm -hmm. Who knows? So the um the the promo card and those tattoos together, fourteen dollars and seven cents. Three Charlie, good cook's cookbook. Okay. This aisle. I don't want to talk about it, y'all. Uh a good cook's good cook's cookbook. Should be about here, maybe. maybe. Great yeah, taste. Just found it. Okay. Yep, Leesville, Louisiana. Nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Okay. Nine Delta action figure on card. Cane with face hugger. Okay. Face hugger is an alien, huh? Yeah. Action figure on card. Probably gonna be here. Alien. Yeah, this is a good start. Um, it's just one, right? Yeah. Well, there's more than one alien fig. That's this is Kane. Okay, I think this is it then. Right here. Yeah, there's this face hugger right there. <laughs> I think that's funny. They call that little alien a face hugger. Yeah. This is it, huh? Yep. Okay. That sold for $14.99. One Bravo air filter for Suzuki. Not, I, I don't, I have no, you know what? I, I'm trying to think of when and where we got this. I wonder if that was from the eBay store buy. Cause we... Yeah, Mr. Ben. Yeah. yeah. Um, that sold for $22.49. Um, in the cricker drawer, 
The next two items are on the same order. Cricker drawer, core robo dog, two finger lock. Core robo dog. Okay, these. Yes. Those sold for twenty six ninety nine. Okay, some of that core stuff ain't too bad, huh? And then nine delta dash F. Uh, tree top a uh, guy with a chainsaw. It's a little yeah. loose figure. Nine delta F, a core figure. Okay. Oh, uh, there's two boxes. There's one with Star Wars and one with uh, Core. No, it's, it, it works. We'll figure it out. Okay, yeah, this guy right here. Yep. $13.49 for him. A lot of 11 graphic novels, 5 Alpha. TPBT. TPB2. Sounds like a, a droid from Star Wars. TPB2? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it kind of does, huh? TPB2. Got it. Uh, $24.99. All right. So, the Walmart pin, number 162. All right. 162. It's been a... Been a... It's been a while. It has been a while. It has. It has been a while. It's been about a week. Huh? It's been about a week. Yeah, that's a, that's a little while. I remember when we were pulling these things every, every day. day like clockwork. But the, the fewer you have, the less likely it is to sell one. Right. And every time you sell one, it gets less likely to sell the next one maybe, huh? Every time you sell one, the fewer you have. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's see. Um... Fishing Casting Smiles. Yes. Okay. $8.99. That'd be cool to give to someone that works in the sporting goods department. Oh, yeah. huh? mm -hmm. Okay. While you're over there, 10 Foxtrot, the last two Southern Comfort hats. Two? On one order? Yep. Okay, hopefully they're in here. <laughs> and that does that. Finishes those off. That is two Southern Comfort hats. I see them. $23.98. Done. Done. Wow, that was... Uh, Clear out of space on that shelf. Yeah, that was awesome, huh? Yeah, like worked out well. Yeah, it did. Okay, we have an empty box here. <laughs> In the Digimon drawer, G.I. Drew... G.I. Drew? It's a motorcycle with a little sidecar looking thing. Is that the name of it, sidecar? No. This guy? Yeah. It's oh. called a Snarler Cycle. Look at that. That's neat. $13.49. Okay, so that must not be... That must be fairly modern. It's fairly modern. 2009. Okay. Yeah. Uh, three Bravo. Our favorite recipe by Granny's Kitchen Band. Granny's Kitchen Band? And it should be around here. Red binder. Red bind. Red binding. Oh, oh, look at them. Okay, that's like uh. So you know, you know the band that plays like um, like the urban band that plays like with garbage cans and stuff. I forget what they're called. This is like this is like the OG of that. They played with like kitchen utensils and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Nine dollars and ninety nine cents for that. Interesting. That must be something in Tennessee. Arkansas. Arkansas, okay. All right, next order has three things on it. The first thing is one Bravo. It's Hello Kitty Build-A-Bear. One Bravo. Boom, boom. Oh, it's not as big as I thought. It's got a big old head. Yeah, I thought it was going to be... Okay, no, that isn't that big. Cause I know they oh, bought. It's like tall and skinny with a big head. Oh, it's not. Yeah, but it's not as bad as I thought. Okay, so they bought three things, right? They bought four things. Four things. Golly. Thirty-five ninety-nine for that. Okay. The next three things are on the same order, same person, but um, they're on the same order. Five Alpha TPB One, lot of thirteen graphic novels. Okay. Oh, this one's kind of tight in here. I think. Let's see. Oh, I got it. All right. And we have a puffer vest for a dog of the dog bee box, so we need to get that down. Whoa, when's the last time we got one of those boxes down? Okay, good. 
Dog D? Yep. Right here. Okay, I'll be right back. It was right on top. Yeah, it was. So um, we have two of these puffer vests and they bought one of them. Okay, good. Let's get that put up. Okay, so they got three things so far. What's the last thing? Um, CC6, another Build-A-Bear and Spike the Dragon from My Little Pony. CC6. Okay, that's a little, little smaller guy here. Yep. He's cool though. Yeah. Hmm. So, um, okay, so we, we have the Hello Kitty that sold for $35.99. Then the other three things in that order total to $62.97. So that's about a $100 order then. Yeah. Okay, nice. Okay, MU7. Vintage Boy Scouts. That's a Bev drawer. Yeah, well, no, we renamed them. Right, <laughs> yeah, that used to be... This used to be MU7. And that was MU8. And this is MU8. But we still have some old tags in there. This is a little red um, Boy a, Scout. A Boy Scout. What? Oh, a patch. Oh, wait. We have some different ones. This is B. Patch B. Okay. $8.99. All right. Back to the action figure box on 9 Charlie. The Star Wars box. M. Farm Boy Luke. Oh, that's a good sale. Um, M. Yeah. Yep, Farm Boy Luke with his little lightsaber. $79.99 for that. Did you think that was going to sell at that price? Yeah. Yeah. I did. That was kind of hard. I mean, the, the, the range on those. Well, just to give you all some idea, we sold that one for 80 and then we sold another lot that had our we sold a lot of star wars figures that had like what how many figures i think Wait. it was seven in there seven star wars figures including that one yeah and it was all for 50. because it was missing the lightsaber and paint and other stuff yeah. right yeah but mostly because of that lightsaber right yep okay six delta starbucks ceramic travel travel mug six delta <clears throat> yeah this came out of a free box right yep at a garage sale? $14.99 for that. Yeah, can't beat Even that. Even missing the lid, I was able to sell it. Yeah, that's nice. Two Alpha, a lot of three Dell laptop cases. Yeah, I got an offer. You, you remember how I ended up with these? A Dell. We, we were at a uh, garage, well, it was a family-run estate sale. And they had a, they had a big printer. And then a bunch, uh, they had a, remember a toner? Did you buy those? <laughs> yeah, well, I bought, yeah, I bought these and did the like toner. Bundle, yeah. And yeah, it ended up, I ended up spending like what, like a hundred bucks there or something. Yeah. Toner sold for like, well, I think it was over $500 just yeah. for the toner. Yeah. And we've had these kicking around for a while. Oh yeah, she had the printer, she had the toner listed, I'm not listed, for sale with the printer. And it was one of the a big printer. Right, big multifunction and thing. I was like, I, I really don't want the printer. It took a little while to I, coax her into selling. And it. yeah, and I paid. I actually paid what she was asking for everything, and I just left the printer there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, chest drawer, offshore drilling brass belt buckle. Okay. It's, it's crazy. Sometimes I open these drawers and I just experience like blindness. I'm like, oh, sometimes oh here it is. Like I was going to say, sometimes I put them in the wrong place. These brass belt buckles kind of blend in sometimes. Yeah. $18 for that one. Yeah, this is neat. I asked Candid, I'm all stove up this morning. I cut all the cut. I did like three hours of yard work yesterday. Yeah. And uh, I asked Candace to go get them off the bottom shelf. $14.99 for this. <laughs> Thank you, Candace. All right, just for that, I'm sending you to another bottom shelf. Uh, Five Fox Shot. We sold a pattern. Oh, okay. I can handle that. Well, no, I can't. I have that blocked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. I'm going to take care of this this week or start on it anyway. I need to list my way through all this. Look, a lot of this stuff is empties. Oh, no. All right. Pattern 15. 15. Okay. Double. Uh oh. 
Let's see. Oh, this is probably it. Dancing needles. Got three girls in dresses. Smocked or French hand. Yeah. Sewn Five, collar dress. Five, seven, yeah, that's it. That's all for $9.99. Okay. Hey, that little pattern buy is doing all right. Yep, those all came from Ben. That, that's on the same order. Oh, it is. Yep. Yeah. And they also bought something else, the next thing. Okay. Uh, Six Delta uh, Pink Zebra Wax Blueberry Waffles scent. What? It sounds like you're just saying words. <laughs> Would you say that again? Pink Zebra Wax Melts. They're called sprinkles. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of like Scentsy Wax, but theirs is like in little pellet form. Oh, I see that. Yeah. yeah interesting. $9.99 hmm. for that. And all three of those are on the same thing. Yeah. That's all the eBay orders. On Etsy, we sold a model. It's on one Charlie. So so odd to sell a model there. I know. It's a 1976 German Messerschmitt. Messerschmitt. Right. Said one what? Charlie. Here it is. That sold for $19.99 plus ship. This thing is actually still in the shrink. Yeah. From night that's It looks like it was just taken off the shelf. Like it's, it's I know. perfect. It looks like it's so 50 crazy. year old shrink. I know. Okay, and then on Macari we have three items going out. Um first one is David Boti card, tops card. It's a one delta. The card is U110. All right, I didn't want to make y'all suffer through me fumbling through these boxes. Okay, I got it right here. Okay, $15 for that and um that's plus shipping that's an auto card right yeah yeah yep. well, it's fair it's a one of those thick cards too yeah oh, that's a nice card okay um we sold you want to put those up yeah let me put these up I'll be right back all right in pocket 129 boba fett's blaster 29 this little guy right here yep that's all for 16 plus ship okay and then in the cricker drawer, we saw the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figure, Space Usagi Yojimbo. It's this guy. Yeah, Fifteen dollars for him plus ship. That's everything. That's everything we sold. Yep. Okay, that'll clear off a little space on the old shelves. Oh yeah. We'll go ahead and get this stuff packed up. All right, Lonnie's been busy packing orders, and we realized I forgot to call out something that sold. Um, Brother Juniper on Three Delta. Yeah, it's a good little sale. This guy's kind of interesting. It's on three Delta. Three. I'm thinking six for some reason. This little guy right here. And, okay. I'm stepping around with a bunch of packages and stuff. That's a, that's all the stuff I've packed already. Pile in the aisle. The pile in the pile aisle. In the, aisle. <laughs> <laughs> the malice in the palace. And then we have the pile in the aisle. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. So I um, picked that up in the state sale a few weeks ago. And it sold for $44.99. That's a good one. Yep. Okay, y'all. So I'm I'm going to list. I'm going to start on those dishes today. The um, San Friscan. Franciscan, not San Franciscan, Franciscan dishes. Anyway, so I, I, I got some stuff to kind of help me organize dishes on a shelf. And I cleared off one of our shelves in the back. And um, this bowl was no longer listed. And this is a $40 bowl. It went to a chip and dip set. So um, this bowl, a lot of people, they don't, they have the big chip part, but not the dip part. So I'm getting it relisted, but I wanted to show you something. Um, whenever you're listing like this pyrex this colored pyrex one thing that people really want to see is if there's any paint missing to the naked eye this looks great right um but when you shine a light you can see a little flex of paint missing i don't know if it's picking mm -hmm. up or not it's overexposed here yeah how does that do i'm gonna throw up some photos i took from my listing so you can see okay but yeah. um yeah you want to kind of show either hold it up to a light or um you can see it right there let me see yeah and show where there is little flecks of paint missing yeah you can see it like right there yeah so just a little tip for pyrex stuff yeah so, for, it's a little tip to make your stuff look as bad as possible well you want to disclose it because yeah. the camera doesn't pick it up otherwise um but yeah i got this shelf cleared off back here 
And I bought these little plate holders. I have four of them. Okay. And I bought some yellow painter's tape. Okay, good. Because I know you wanted some light tape, and I'm going to use it. And I'm going to show y'all when I get my stuff loaded up on here what I'm doing with it. Okay. Think that's going to happen today? Yes. Okay. I'm going to start on it today. And then this is what I am going to work on. Um, probably, this will probably take me through the end of the day, I guess. I don't know. I have, uh, I went through the comics quickly. I went through the comics that we have left from our comic buy from a couple weeks ago, garage sales. And uh, I was surprised. I didn't realize I had a big stack of Archies in there. That's going to do well. This one on top, they're, they're, most of them are pretty good condition, but there were some older ones, like these that have the 15 cent prices on them that were, that were pretty rough. But I'll just disclose that. That's the thing with these Archies. A lot of them, like, a lot of them, Archie got read more than most comics did. Like, people didn't buy these to collect. They bought them to read. At least that's what I did, too. But you can see, like, starting here, this one's kind of rough, too. But for the most part, these, well, that's a, that's a duplicate there. These are in pretty good condition, especially for an Archie comic. Because, like I said, these get read just a ton. So, this is going to be some decent money here. Uh, have a this whole stack is Spider Man, this whole stack is Captain America, this stack is Superman, and then uh, everything in this box is Avengers. It's not that many, so I'm going to have one two i might this might be two lots i don't know one two three four five at least five lots that i know of plus then i'll probably do some just mixed assorted lots the more um the more specific you are like if, if all the books are this the same you get you tend to get a little more money than if you just do like a big you know spread of among all different genres and whatnot so i'm about to bring my dishes in here uh-oh so um a viewer and i'm sorry I, this was like a couple weeks ago when we bought the stuff they suggested just getting just wipes to clean them off instead of taking them to the kitchen washing them in the sink risk chipping them or whatever just give them a good wipe down with these so we'll see how clean they come with this okay these are just from uh the dollar store really okay. cheap and i'm about to reach out candace went and got the phone number mm -hmm. for our comic book contact so i'm gonna reach out to them and see if they're ready to sell some more or if they can get ready and see if we can maybe make a bulk buy uh, I'm, I'm hoping he has like a million Archies sitting around somewhere. That would be nice. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's the case, but actually I have no idea. You didn't know these were in there, so. Right. He didn't know the, he didn't tell me these were in there. Right. Those are separate, I think, from another, I think he just bought those other ones mm -hmm. from someone. And pulled out what he wanted from the buy. Right. And, and then. that left. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to contact him. I, I don't mind working with the comics. I'm, I'm still not very knowledgeable about them, but uh, we can definitely make money selling them. All right, I was not looking forward to this day. Although, I, I, I hate to think that... I, you know what? Whenever you came up with that goal for March, I, I immediately knew it wasn't really... We weren't going to hit it. When I came up with it? Yeah. Oh, I did? I you did. I thought you did. No, no, no. You okay. did that. Although... Yeah, we uh, March is weird. It, we well, we had a few days where we were hardly even in here listing because um, we were out doing bought buys. We did what two buys with Guy or three at least. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, but I, I'm happy with what we did. Oh, I am too. I, it's it's about our it's about our average. It really is. You know, we usually do between three hundred to three hundred fifty dollars. I mean three. 300 to 350 listings per month. I, yeah, or maybe a little more than that. Yeah, I, just depending on what it is. I, I would say this this month was a little shy. 
Yeah. Um, and you can definitely see the days where we were like out of the shed, you know, like doing buys or whatever, you know. It, and then honestly, we weren't, I wasn't listing as hard as I normally would. Yeah. I was shifting focus a little more to YouTube. Um, so, yeah, but our goal was 500. Uh, we listed 322 items, so a far cry, like, mm -hmm. we would have needed, like, another 10 days to hit our goal. Yeah. Um, our money was good, though, 16024 A lot of that is due to, um, you could see these, like, really heavy days, 4000 almost two grand, the almost two grand. That was the Hot Wheels. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it, it, it was, it's fine. It's fine. Like, I, I was, I'm, I'm happy enough. And we always say we sell about what we list, and it was true for March. I mean, the it, it's like that. Yeah, yeah, this is just eBay now. So, gross sales on eBay was $15,840. Um, now, once you take out the, the, like, sales tax that eBay collects, you take out uh, selling costs, which is final value fees, and in a lot of cases, uh, 2%. Promoted listings, 2.1%, but not everything sells on promoted listing. So this makes sense. 13.7% of your sales selling cost. Net sales, uh, net of taxes and selling costs, 12641. Now out of that number, still have to pay uh, postage. Yes. And I've been buying just about all of our postage on... Um, on um, pirate ship. Pirate ship. Why, why am I having trouble <laughs> remembering like just basic words? Yeah. So this is this does not include that. Right. So I'd have to look at that. I haven't looked yet. I'd imagine we're somewhere around ten thousand net before cost of goods. Mm -hmm. But yeah, these numbers here kind of reflect what we listed. Yeah, quantity yeah. sold four hundred and eleven. Uh, which makes sense because we've also seen a reduction in our active listings. Like we were above 2,000 mm -hmm. at the beginning of the month. And I think right now we're down, hang on, let, let me pull this up. Pull up our active listings. And let's we'll see where we're at there. We always seem to hover around 2,000, but look, we're 26 items no, we've shy. Been, we've yeah. been drifting down lately. Yeah. Because we're selling more than we list. Right. More, more quantity than we list. Yeah. So, um, very, I'm pretty happy with these results. I'm just, the only thing I'm not happy with is just that we set a goal and didn't hit it. Didn't even that's, come close. That's a little disappointing. Yeah. So, let's go back to a more hittable goal. Well, yeah, because, like, we know for sure we're going to be outsourcing on Friday mornings, at least. Yeah. So, but I, but, but we're going to have some different good inventory coming in, I'm hoping. So, we're, we'll... we'll what, do, what do you think? You want to try to do the 350 again? I think 360. 360? Okay. Yeah, that, that's what we're going to go for. Yeah. That's what we're, and, and keep in mind, we're, we're two people doing this. Um, and, but we are also doing this with YouTube. Yeah. okay like youtube is youtube is a revenue source for us uh we have some affiliate stuff we get money from uh that those numbers do not include a pretty good many sales on the macari and etsy a little bit on poshmark poshmark's been pretty dead lately so yeah. i mean it was a it was a good month it was and youtube youtube was a great month yeah. on uh very happy with the performance of the channel thank y'all very much that's because y'all are watching so yeah, I mean overall I feel good. I wish we would have uh, either set a more reasonable goal or hit that goal. Or come close to it. <laughs> yeah, come close. So for April we're going for 360 listings, and we'll let this fall where it may. Um, I did notice our average sale price for the month of March on eBay was like thirty nine dollars. Yeah, our, that's been go drifting up the last year. Yeah. 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 We're, 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 we've been. And I, I give credit to that. I, I feel like we're sourcing better. Sourcing better. And then when we don't, we're lotting up more yeah. often. We're not just listing things just to be listing. Right. We're not yeah. just listing $10 things over right. and over. Not saying we won't list a $10 thing because we will. But if it's a $10 thing that we'll never sell, we're not going to list it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. 
360 items for next month and then we're going to track it and see how we feel about it then i listed my archies i'm putting another lot together now these are the captain americas i took them they're all in these bags the bags are in horrible condition uh the comics are in good condition though so I took them all out but i love these ads on the back check this out this is a pie pie game a pie pie game and uh look this is that time before just before nintendo just before um well maybe maybe nes was around because this is from 84 i don't remember what year i don't know nes maybe came out just after this i don't know anyway look look at all these versions they have of this game atari 5200 atari 2600 in television and ColecoVision, and then they have the computers: uh, Commodore 64, Atari, Atari, and TI 994A. These are freaking awesome! I love the ads on the backs. You know, look, here's Cubert. Your Atari is a great computer. I don't know what versions those are, but the ads are fun. For a vid time call. Call our new video hotline. Get the word on Parker Brothers' latest games. It's a 1-900 number for them to tell you about their games. They're charging you 50 cents. That sounds like something Macari might do. <laughs> okay, we're, we're actually listing good today. I don't usually... It was a slower packing day today for sure, but I don't usually get to list anything on Mondays. I've listed $140 in comic lots so far. Mm -hmm. Candace has been... Uh, churning out some listings too yeah i'm working on the dishes i decided to do the dinner plates individually just based on what they sell for and i'm pricing them according to condition so i'm like this one has a little nick right there so it's going to get a few dollars off then perfect condition um but i wanted to show y'all what I, what i came up with to store these so um my my they're going on seven charlie um shelf and um the custom skew is seven charlie d6 so I got this yellow painter's tape um, and I'm just, I'm kind of folding it over and making like a tab with it, sticking it on each plate like that. And then if you come back here, I'll show you how I'm storing them. Okay. We are running air conditioner now. Yeah. So I bought these plate holders and I just have them on the shelf back here okay and that'll be easy for Lonnie to pull he won't have to like dig through a stack of plates he yeah. can just see which one he needs to grab and it keeps them from destroying each other too yes yeah it takes up a little more room than it would otherwise but I think this is the way to go I yeah I, I think so and I have four of these so I'll be able to put um salad plates and bowls also all on this one shelf yeah okay yep. yeah I like that that's a that's gonna work out well and then I mean, after we have the way things have been going, seems like every couple months you buy some more plates or something. Yeah, uh, I mean, I don't buy them often, but when I do see special ones and they're the price is right, I pick them up. So I want to have a good storage solution for those dishes yeah. that are uh, valuable. You know, these I definitely see why you pick these up. Yeah, have that little starburst. They they are from I looked on replacements.com if you. If you ever want to know the age of your dishes, um, they actually put the date that they were manufactured on there. So these are from 1954. So. I think more people use replacements.com as a, a way to research mm -hmm. than they do to yeah. like buy and sell. I even use it like for flatware if I'm trying to figure out like which fork I have. They put the measurements on each individual piece so you can uh, measure your utensil and see what utensil you have. So that, that's helpful. Their prices. The price they pay is super low, of course, which I understand it has to be. Yeah. And the price they sell for, super duper high. Actually, it's pretty on par with eBay now. Is it? Yeah. It used to be sky high. Yeah, it's pretty on par. So, and like these dinner plates right now, they only have five in stock. What are they selling them for? Uh, let me see. Let me go look. Yeah. So, um, yeah, here is that pattern on uh, replacements.com. By the way, they do have a photo search, kind of like on Google Lens or like eBay's camera search. Okay. So that's really helpful, especially when you're trying to identify um, flatware. So yeah, they've got their dinner plates at 20, which is on par with what I'm listing for it, you know. They only have five though. 
and they don't have like they don't have those little moon shaped bone dishes I have. I have a pitcher. I have a lot of dishes that they don't even have. So this and is and the gonna... ones they do have, a lot of them they say only one in stock. Right. So this is going to be fun. Um, I've got a good share of the market on these dishes, and she I cornered paid, the market. I paid next to nothing for them. I paid fifteen dollars for all the pieces. I don't even know how many pieces it is. It's a lot. It's I a know lot. that. Yeah, we, we kept we carried a lot of boxes. Yeah, we did. So yeah, I'm I'm having fun with this. Interested mm. to see what it's going to come out to total. Well, your history on selling dinnerware is kind of speaks for itself. Yeah. So I'm I used to like kind of I used to kind of give her a hard time like oh man I'll buy that crap I don't want to pack that, but then she started buying like just home run deals where we were selling like like she would spend you know. Uh, 50 bucks and then we'd make 500 and I'm like all right I'll shut up now yeah and so whenever I'm looking for dinnerware I don't I, I try to look for stuff that I can sell in smaller quantities like one plate at a time or four plates at a time I'm not looking to sell a 60 piece dinnerware set right. in one listing because that's just a nightmare to pack and ship and just a headache so I do look for those special things that you can get money for in lower quantities right like I, I see in the in the Facebook group from time to time someone will say how would you sell this and it's like a full set of China and it's worth you know I sometimes it could be worth a lot of money but also sometimes a full set of China could be worth like hundred and fifty dollars yeah. and that sounds okay but it's like 60 pieces right and like by the time you pack all that that is not worth it and it's not, not fun worth your time. Yeah. and then even after you like even if you go through all that and you get you magically get the sale which that's hard too mm -hmm. unless it's stuff people want right and then you pack it all up and you have your little whatever maybe you made 80 dollars net after everything and then you get the dreaded alert of an ebay message and half the damn things are cracked what are you gonna do then yeah you know so, so if you do find yourself with a big set that's not super valuable uh local facebook marketplace or whatever you know or donate yeah <laughs> like what you what you just described i would just donate so i've just made it a practice even when i walked up and i i saw these and i, I have an eye i knew these were special i never i've never experienced them before but because even though the price was only fifteen dollars for all of them, I still looked them up. Right. Because I didn't want to lug home all those dishes just to donate them. Or, right. Yeah. So. Yeah. Some a lot of times when we do comp stuff, it's not because of the price; it's because of the bother <laughs> of if you actually buy it. Yeah. Like usually, like especially garage sale stuff, mm -hmm. the price you pay is a is a small factor in the total cost of the item by the time you factor in all the time it takes right. to process and pack and all that stuff. Yeah. So, but that is going to be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye y'all. Bye.